it is heaven on earth to me. It's where you can connect and where you can spiritually connect. Marble Arch Caves, UNESCO Global Geo Park, is the first cross-border geo park anywhere in the world. It actually brings people together from both sides of the community. And anywhere else in the world, that is really important, but perhaps no more so than on the island of Ireland. One of the main geopark sites is the Marble Arch Show Caves, which were only open to the public over 30 years ago. And they're the only underground cave system in the north of Ireland which are open to the public. So it's a very natural, a very unique tourist attraction. The show cave on display to the public, it's about 1.5 kilometres. It's a bit like the heart of the country. You're, you're actually in the ground of, 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 of Ireland here. You're underneath the soil. We, we were given UNESCO status in 2015, so two years ago now. 2017, we've had our busiest season on record. Um, we've over 71,000 people came to the caves alone this year. At Marble Arch Caves, every year we organise Science Week, and the whole point of Science Week is to bring children together from both County Cavan and County Fermanagh to try and engage in some shared learning, to learn about their shared heritage, their shared geological landscapes. And it's one of the few ways that school children on the island of Ireland can come together from both sides of the border. Since the uh, geopark was established, people seem to be more comfortable with each other's cultures. And that can only be a good thing for the future of the children. Order in itself maybe implies that there's a division. There's uh, really nothing. It feels very smooth, very interchangeable and, and working together. The county councils and the local authorities have to come together a lot more. And that's something I feel that they, they are doing and doing well. All geoparks are about people. And without their passion, without their enthusiasm, geoparks really can't thrive and they, and they can't flourish. This landscape has inspired me, I suppose, since I've been a child. I've been fascinated by it. You can still sense the presence of the generations that have gone. There's a tremendously therapeutic landscape. There is something about it where you, where you can connect. You have to wander. You must always be open to wander. 